this was really a global collaboration. We had teams working all over the world to really bring this product to life. We had no history, no DNA, no cars before this. We were creating something completely from scratch that was really going to be the future for the brand. What was unique about this team is everyone was new, fresh, excited, and then they see a project like this, it just, you know, there's your motivation. supercar race car like this is designed completely backwards. Traditionally in the industry, you'll start with the exterior. It's kind of outside in design, but in this case, it was radically different. We had to design the inside first and then go out. What's beautiful about it is the simplicity of it. There is less components in the car. There is no gearbox. The motors are simpler than a conventional petrol engine. It's more reliable. Just the technology is, is fantastic. Everything that makes this happen in the physical world has to come together. The tires, the suspension, the braking system, the aerodynamics. Every aspect is worked in parallel. And the crucial thing in the design process is to have that flow of communication. Henry, how are you? I just landed in uh, Munich. I've got a lot of technical questions for you. Where do we want to start? It's about looking at things through a different lens. X bars looking really good. Even the sort of technical detail at the back here. Driving yourself harder to think about what we're doing. Is it the right way to do it? Is there a different way to do it? Everything else is quite uniform. I don't think you, you go from sketch to prototype, and it's a physical thing so quickly. I think this melange fabric could work really great. You're faced with the reality of your decisions really, really quickly. Every day there was something to discuss and resolve uh, within the next half day. You know, can we find the tires that will sustain that vertical load? Can we design the brakes that will cool enough so that don't overheat? Are we going to be able to design the suspension strong enough to sustain the 3G in the corner? The supercar is about performance, about pushing limits, about new technologies, using these new technologies and pushing them further than they've ever been pushed. This is also a completely different experience the supercar experience and the experience of the The interface has moved beyond being just a car. It is almost like a wearable, and that means it has to have a totally different attitude. All these pieces of technology come together to create and tell that story. So much coming together here. Yeah, sure, if we had another six months, we could have made the body assembly seem easier, sure. But then we wouldn't be standing here now, would we? You know, we had, you know, all these people working on the project till six in the morning, multiple all-nighters. It was time-constrained. It was brutally time-constrained. You're looking at Friday and it's and it's Monday and you think, Jesus, that's a lot of work. This car, in terms of its vehicle dynamic performance, will be by far the fastest car of this type. 所以这个其实对我们来说是一种啊，我们充分展现自己的这个vision和action能力的这样一个精神的一个产品。The Nürburgring, it's dangerous. And we're going in a dangerous part of the gear.
We don't really know how the car's going to behave. You're waiting for that first fast lap. And before you see that, it's, it, there's a little bit of uh, their doubts and their, their moments of uh, waiting and hoping for the car to just pull away. You plug in and out, you have to stay that up. Fuck you now. We just found the car with a leak. Listen, we need to bypass as quickly as we can so we don't lose too much fluid. I thought you could get to it, but it's just buried. Absolutely buried. If they open it, we're going to lose it all, and then we're in a whole world of pain. Yeah. We can't do anything from the outside. Once you stop the rig, the pressure will then decrease, and when it gets to two and a half bar, close the valve, that will have the right amount of fluid in the system. You can get to them. It's not ideal, but it would work. Yeah? Sorry. Okay. Well, we crack on with that, and then we should be good to go, yeah? So we, should, we need to revert back on the... To drive the car to the limit at Nürburgring is much more difficult than on other tracks. It's 21 kilometers long. It's got a lot of uh, high-speed corners, a lot of bumps. One of the big challenges the driver needs to know it you know, very well. Loud and clear. Everything okay, Peter? Okay. Okay, copy that. All good. You get back quicker than I thought you would. First warm up lap we did in 7.34. World record is 7.22, we're 12 seconds off. Yeah, that's, that's not bad for a warm-up lap, not at all. so hard and I can see from all their faces that it's uh, you know when, when you consider 10 days ago this car first turned a wheel it's come to the, the hardest circuit in the world and taken a world record on lap two hey, 